Hey guys, how are you? Happy New Year's Eve. Um, I'm just dressed as myself today. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, plush and yeah, thank you for the restock. I appreciate it. Welcome in, Namalakaris and Henry and Marth and Shell. Happy New Year, everybody. Hi, Bunny and Jamie. Hello. Yeah, welcome in, guys. I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm just gonna draw a little. I'm gonna be busy later for New Year's Eve, but I wanted to stream again. I know I haven't really been on because of my computer. And things have just been weird. Where where is my Where's my Where's my program? Looks like it went away. Forever 21. <laughs> I don't think this is Forever 21. Amogus. Yeah, how how was Christmas for you guys? I don't know why this isn't showing up. Let me let me find this real quick. Never figure out what's wrong. Um, I just tried reconnecting some wires, and it seemed. Help. Henry, thank you for 21 months. It's crazy, it's Can you say something nice about years. mailing before the year ends? Henry Can you say something Kistina nice about Henry mailing? mailing? She's beautiful. I like her, her red hair. Yeah, did you guys... Did you guys do anything cool for the holidays? My car broke down on Christmas Eve, but it ended up being okay. Oh, I know why. The- what's going on with this? I don't know what's not loading. I, I don't know what's going on with the alert, but, um... Yeah, I hope you guys had a good one. You went to a family Christmas party. I, I don't know why this alert's on here. I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay, it, it wants to be silly. But I'm just gonna hide that for now because I don't know why it's going on. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for coming even though I'm just dressed as myself. I know it's probably kind of weird, but yeah. Went to a family Christmas party. Nice. I don't know how to feel about the end of the year. I don't know about how, how you guys feel. I always feel weird. But this year was pretty crazy for me in a lot of ways. It's strange how a lot of things can happen all at once. Oh wait, I forgot the thing. I try not to think about it. Yeah, I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but time flies. Hi, Kevin, how are you? Hi, Chevy, happy new year. Yeah, this is, this is what I'm gonna wear later, so. That's why I'm already in my outfit. I have a few, um, a few commission slots open if anybody was interested in that, but I haven't really been doing a lot of art. I guess I made my Christmas drawing. Am I going to any sick parties? Um, my friends are having a party, but I'm sure they'll keep it pretty low-key. Not like I'm gonna be, you know at a party with with strippers or anything. <laughs> Girls kissing, yes. Sad, yeah, I should go. 
to go where they have. What it, what does Bender say? And he says he will have his own party with. Does he say cocaine and hookers? I don't remember the quote. Hi Joey, how are you? Happy New Year's Eve. All the Alice's and Emo Yomu. She's beautiful. Blackjack. Honey! Oh my goodness. Holy crap, look at how many emos. There's so many. Thank you for how many was it? Five. Thank you so much. That's amazing. I really appreciate it. Um, but I like all the emotes on this the screen. It's very silly. But thank you so much for that. I, I really appreciate it. I'm sorry I've had to skip a lot of stuff. Um, I've been trying not to cancel. It's just I I feel like I can't always give the best stream and like I don't wanna just be somebody who streams constantly and like doesn't really have anything interesting to say or do like I want to actually put thought into what I'm doing and sometimes I feel like that's easy to fall into it's just like oh I'm gonna stream today but it's you know nothing crazy is going on can you use big brainless streams yeah I guess I guess that's true I'm gonna have to think about it. Although, I felt like it's hard being on the internet. Hey, Angus, how are you? Happy New Year. No, oh my goodness. Thank you guys. You're being very generous. I appreciate it. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. All you guys. Thank you so. I appreciate it. And thank you for your help in the server as well. I really appreciate it. I thank you guys, I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, happy new year. I know I I felt like I had a weird year. It was very turbulent. And I don't know. It's kind of weird to look back. And just think how fast things go by. I know there was a long period of time where I wasn't streaming and it was like the longest break that I had taken. Hi Kogoro! I'm sorry if I'm missing anybody coming in but uh, happy New Year's Eve to everybody. Yeah that was a, a very difficult thing but I wasn't able to use my computer at the time so I couldn't control it. Um, Caro, I, I love Sina's little lick emote. I think it's silly. But yeah, I took a very long break then. I feel bad about taking breaks sometimes. And... Yeah, streaming's just been weird. I guess it's better to do it when you feel like it. Hi Oku, how are you? Happy New Year's Eve. Or maybe you're in a country where it's New Year's already. Um, either way... Happy, happy something. Yeah. Hi Seth, how are you? Happy New Year's Eve. I hope you guys uh, can look at the year as something that was good, at least, or mostly good. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people I've talked to have had struggles. Debbie, thank you so much for the research. I appreciate it. Shadow 16, 14, love dance. your little dance and Suika. So There's more at Suika as we love her. <laughs> Fear was wild. I agree. I, I had a lot happen. There were like a lot of firsts for me. Like some of them were good, some of them were bad. But... You know, like, sometimes I feel like when you have bad things happen or, like, a loss, say, like, you can, you can go towards different things, like, once you don't have something anymore. I love the rave emote. Oh, thank you again for the sub to 
Oh, can't see the username. But whoever got it, uh... I hope you enjoy. Thank you, guys. Hi! That's funny. A little... A little laser gun. I was not... doing as much this year as I... thought I would, but, like... I guess you can only be grateful for the things you're able to do, even if it's not what you expected. Oh. Like, I wanted to reach a thousand followers by the end of the year, but obviously I'm not gonna gain 170 followers today. Um, I'm grateful for the people that have you know, join the community this year, though. You're not the same person. That's good. I, I kind of agree with that for myself as well. You think it will grow next year? Thank you, I hope so. Yes, subs. I, I think it would mostly go to the, the viewers that I already have. But... I'm happy to know the people that are here already. I know there's always chances to meet new people and, and grow, but I'm grateful for the people that are here already. Get fun with the streams. Thank you. I'm glad that you enjoyed them. End of a woo, yes. Um, I... I know a lot of people said they've had trouble growing on Twitch. I know a lot of things have been changing on here as well. So... You know, I can't beat myself up too much. I mean, it's a learning experience every... Every time you try something. Yeah, I think it was crazy. I did 17 cosplays, which was a lot. I feel like I've kind of pushed myself too far in the, the um, last couple of years. Do I have to worry about half of next year? You're going to the army, right? You're squishy. You like all the the Numanoko. Numanoko sound effects. So good luck on June twenty fourth. Still got some time, but I hope that that all works out for you and you can do more for yourself. You guys are gonna hear the fine things on my shirt. Okay. Exploding <laughs> The only thing I know for sure is I'm going to the convention in April. Otherwise, I'm not sure what else. Is that going to hook up? I feel weird streaming like this though, it's like, I don't know, <laughs> I don't have a wig on. Like I usually do. Amy, thank you so much. 
for the good sub to O2 Jump. I appreciate it. You guys got me to my goal. I really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> they still have the Christmas hats on. Thank you so much. Mara, thank you so much. I'm ready for New Year's Eve. Yes, this is my hair. I grew it myself. <laughs> but I've always had very long hair. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for your support. Um, I feel like I've been slacking in some ways. I don't know about you guys, but it's very hard for me to be motivated in the winter. Happy New Year! Um, what were you gonna say? Oh, yeah, I, I get kind of less motivated in the winter because of the cold and the, the early sunset. I get kind of depressed. Uh, the cold kind of bothers me. Oh, yeah. Hot where you live, more. Also, I'm sorry I didn't schedule an event in Discord on Friday. I couldn't think of anything to do. I think we had like eight events this month anyway, and I'm like, uh, maybe that's enough. I'm motivated in the winter except the end of the year. Yes. It's, it's hard because you got to reflect on everything. And I guess like time is always moving, even when it's the beginning of the year, like midway through the year, like it's still a year from some other point in the time. But I guess it just makes it more apparent. You're no longer busy. Well, I hope you can rest now. It's all ogre now. I don't know what to make her doing. I was gonna use one of the preset animation things. I don't know if you guys are familiar. If you don't stream, you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but there's a an animated emote maker. I don't have my headphones on, but I can hear the music. We'll see. I'll show you guys. Okay, I finished this. In a not so slow manner. Yeah, did you did you guys get anything for the holidays or do anything special? You got cookies? Well, that's a good gift. No. The New Year's hiccup. Hero cards. Well, I hope they tell you the future. I remember I looked up tarot cards and their meanings, and then I was reading the the meanings of all of them, and I I saw the the death one, which means 
Something crazy was gonna happen. Or something life changing. I think something big happened in my life that wasn't necessarily good at the time, but now I think it's fun. the Hotero cards. I feel like I saw somebody making those. Saw somebody designing them. Nine hours. No. <laughs> Here I get from Kappa. That's nice. I don't know what it is. Homora. Nine of them. Like, I got clothes pretty much. I said I wouldn't worry about it. People, people know that things aren't always great for everybody financially or like having the resources not everybody has the means or access to things I know what you mean like sometimes you just want to spoil your friends You set up a throw and okay, hey, good job. Also, I don't think I've been on. I've been on stream while I've been drawing. I think that I've always, I've always just had my VTuber. Might have to move her hand up. I think this might be the first time I'm I'm drawing as myself on camera. I've had streams where I was just dressed normally, but yeah. You guys like me without the cosplay? I appreciate that. Sometimes it feels weird to just be myself. I don't know if that makes sense. Rip the Alice Fumo. It'll be back. I'm not a fumo. I had a kangaroo. That was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. They're nice. Glad you guys think so. Oh goodness. I'm being noisy. Alice, a kangaroo, or a fumo. Yeah. Thank you. What happened to her? She was just an OC that I had. It was just like a PNG thing for Discord. So I don't really use that anymore. Hmm. Unfortunately. Hehehe. <laughs> I'm not a cat, I'm sorry. I think my clothes are colorful sometimes, but right now I'm wearing black.
You made a colorful kitten, Fumu. I'd like to see that. Or is it Alice? The the colorful puppeteer. That made a colorful kitten, Fumo. I remember that. From last year, that was funny. Rainbow Girl. Could. I think there are more interesting designs than that. <laughs> Omura. Okay, that's still being a weird. I don't know why. But it's rude. Yes. Christmas. That was so cute. All the hiccups. So silly. This song just play but a different version. <laughs> I see no happy new year. How are you? Great cranberry. I'm gonna have to switch all my stuff back over from Christmas. Racist. Wait, is it working? Why isn't why isn't it working? I feel like my stuff's all messed up. Ideology, they keep the I don't know. Yeah, it's one of the things that working. Um, I don't know if that's on my my end or if it's on the foot. Just one out. Happy New Year's Eve. I am drawing Homer from. Let me see. I don't think it's connected to that, but I could check. any of them. So I don't know if it's just not connected. Nice oh, well that's time. working. <laughs> the commands are working. Okay, I don't know. That's, that's very strange. I'll have to look at it later. Sorry about that though. Let me see if I can... Refund Amoga skills. I should refund. Oops. 
sorry. Just gonna refund the points. Hopefully they they went back to you guys, but not sure why that's going on. Hello, welcome back. Hope your laundry's doing doing okay and not difficult for you. But you guys doing anything crazy? He's having trouble with them. Okay, so maybe it's just which switching it up. I'm on a tablet. I have. I don't know. If I could see my tablet. Not usually what people use, but it's the kind that I've always used. So I I stuck with it. People use tablets that you draw directly onto the screen. I've never been used to them. So. Things are updating very slowly because of the song, which just must be. Dave Eddie, holy shit! Thank you for 21 months, almost 21 years. Thank you. How are you doing? Happy New Year's Eve. You don't know if they do emotes. I feel like some people might if you ask them, but it's also sort of a specialized thing. So if they don't really have a style for it, they might not. Make them. Are we forcing people against their will? <laughs> Which am I? I'm doing okay, Dave Eddie. Thank you for stopping in. I'm drawing Homura. It's her. The she. Uh-oh, Henry spotted David. Beautiful. Yes, happy new year to you as well. I hope the con goes well. I'm gonna be buying my plane ticket soon. You're almost there. You're almost there. I don't know how the, the switch points work. So Hopefully it out for you. Oh, okay. I 
Oh hell yeah, 85,000 points away. You guys could do it. This is a sad song. Not song. Finish her hand real quick. Water good, it is. Hey, buddy! Holy shit. No, I'm saying holy shit for real. Thank you so much! Wow. You guys, you guys are going crazy with being generous. I appreciate it so much. Please check out Hey, buddy at daybuddy.com. With good music and programming, and also on TikTok. TikTok, yes. Happy New Year! Thank you so so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> the head explosion. I'm gonna show you guys. The pen. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Is it because I'm all dressed up now? I'm going to be nicer. <laughs> I'm kidding, but I appreciate it. I'm drinking my water. Thank you guys. I love you all very much and I appreciate you for here. Even though it's been difficult to stream this yummy water always. Water is like the only thing I drink. Unless I come across like lemonade or something at a restaurant. But that's still kind of rare for me to order. I drink a lot of water. I'm a good noodle. And I drink my water. Horror. Wait, part horror, part life sim, part is for lesbian, pacifist. Persona. Well, that that's a lot of that's a lot of tags. But it it sort of sound interesting. <laughs> You're afraid of kidney stones. I mean, maybe I am subconsciously. I never thought of that. Pancreas. I had pancreatitis when I was younger. I gotta make up for it. Okay. Thank you for the resub. I I know you always say I I don't pronounce your name the same way as you would think, but I I was confident in my pronunciation, so I stick with it. So <laughs> It's okay, Stevie. Yes. Thank you very much for that. For every possible one. I guess we will never know the true pronunciation. Because it's just up to interpretation. Really up to interpretation. Oh yeah. I could look it up, I guess. And not be lazy. Look it up myself.
If you guys have any goals for the new year, any favorite games? Hmm. Honestly, I don't. I don't always keep up with new releases. I'm kind of a square, and I I play old games, or I play games after they're released for like a couple years, and I'm like, yeah, I'll play this game that was popular a couple years ago. But my friends really like Baldur's Gate. It looked fun. But it's hard for me to dedicate a lot of time to gaming. I'm just not as into it as much as I used to be. Um, I'd have to think though. I don't know if I played anything new. I finished the Five Minutes of Freddy's series though, so that was fun. Oh yeah, also Pikmin. Although I didn't play it. I'm sure it was a banger because I love Pikmin. And I, I trust I trust that the Pikmin team made a good game. Hi Flash Bomb, how are you? Happy New Year. <laughs> it gave you stress, Henry. Is it because you have to get your little dudes in by the the sunset? That sort of stressed me out as well. What the hawk doing? Nothing. Nothing. Make good. Open. Yeah. I don't think I played the full version of that game. I think I only played the demo. But honestly, I'm not a big fan of that that type of game because like in my opinion Phantasmagoria Flower View it was okay I never found it that entertaining like sometimes I would play it with people and that was cool but they were they were okay I I don't know I don't get as attached to the new characters I guess because I'm like I'm stuck with being more passionate about the older characters that I first knew about when I first liked the, the series, but I... let me think. Like, they were good meme material, that's for sure. I made some memes with them. <laughs> uh, I don't know who would be my favorite. Like. Yuma is cool. I know she was in the other game prior to this one. I feel like she seemed different. At least with the way she looked. Hi Lynn, how are you? Happy New Year! I, I did- I did like the, the lesbian, even though, like, I thought her design was really silly. I mean, they're all kind of silly. And in general, the designs are silly, so I guess it's, it's fine. When I first saw her, I was just like, what the heck? Why is she an eggplant? But then she was down bad, and it was kind of funny. Yeah. You're out of work. Well, I hope you can relax or, you know, party or do whatever you want for the rest of New Year's Eve. Great. He looks a little eggplant-ish. I like Chiari. Well, they probably relate to her <laughs> with her with her messiness. You did a skeb drawing request. That's cool. I've never used that. Shit. Angelina, Happy New Year's Eve. I mean, I see it till mid-January. Yeah, some people take a while. Thank you for lurking. You got work stuff. They better let you leave before New Year's. Henry. That'll be cute, though. I like her as well. I know she's not. What do you do? 
Hi Grayson, how are you? I'm glad the the sound alert worked. There's a lot of them aren't working. Do do do. Happy New Year's Eve. You get out of ten. Good. You can have a New Year's kiss with Dave Eddie. I'm really jealous. Uh, yeah, welcome in. Sorry. Yeah, welcome in, everybody. There are a lot of Twitch emote slots now. I don't know if any of you guys stream. They just gave them out. Like, okay, that's cool. I actually was glad to see them, though, because I really like making them. Xbox Live! Thank you, I'm ready for the night. Colorful kite. That's me. Or not. Yeah, thank you. I hope you're doing well. I'm trying my best to make an emote. Where the hell is Gorb? Where is he? Uh, my eye. Yeah. Hope you guys, even if you don't have crazy plans or anything, I hope it's been an okay New Year's Eve for you guys. I'm gonna see my friends. And they're gonna... gonna be fun to see, because I haven't seen them in a while. Wait, your eyes ripped out. That's not good. Hi, Moo! How are you? Happy New Year's Eve! I hope... I hope you're... Your, your day goes well, especially if you're working. That there's no craziness. There's no blackjack and hookers. <laughs> that you have to be responsible for. You're celebrating more than one. You have multiple parties. Yeah, I know. That's like not a party at all. I don't want to be at that party. If there's none of that. The devil's lettuce. Oh, is it the year of the dragon? What am I drawing? I'm drawing Homura from Marvel. Ah, my ears! Ear holes. Hmm. Can y'all stop gambling? Like I said, it's New Year's Eve. People, people do that sort of thing, right? At the casino. You're gonna win big. Bet the whole house. On, or on New Year's Eve. You either be a millionaire or you lose your house. <laughs> Start the year off right. Bet the whole house and then it's gone. Happy New Year. <laughs> oh God, you all are gonna, you all are gonna lose your money on New Year's Eve. Hey Barney, you're broke. You're broke. You can't gamble anymore. Do you know what they say? 99% of people stop gambling before they hit it big, so never stop trying.
It's true. Yes. <laughs> they didn't believe hard enough. That's all. They did not believe hard enough. If they were to believe, you know, they would have. They would have been rich. <laughs> wow, we're having the New Year's Eve massacre. <laughs> Is this what's going on? The New Year's Eve massacre. Shenanigans. Where? Oh wait, duh. Right here. It cancelled your payout. You should have been quicker. See a problem. I did sort of travel a lot this year. It didn't feel like it, but I did. Angus killed everybody. He won the Hunger Games. Congratulations. You believe. You believed in yourself. The weird, the the sheer willpower. That is, that is what I'm saying. The sheer willpower. You just gotta believe. That's it. That's all there is to it. anyone eating grapes for New Year's? I don't have any specific New Year's traditions. Where are your grapes? I think it's a Spanish tradition. Yeah, in Spain I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Not in the United States. It is uh, in... I'm pretty sure it's in Spain. But... Yeah, not here. My Spanish? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. That's just one that I could remember. And also, like... Uh... Of course, the... The Times Square... Ball. You're eating celebrations? What? What is that? We're we eating the people who are celebrating. <laughs> illegal, illegal drinking, huh? I'm just kidding. I remember drinking champagne when I was like 14. Just explosive, get out the TNT. It's legal. Well, that's good. You're not breaking the law. Getting them early. Drink that alcohol, kids. Drink that alcohol. What was that meme about being Italian? 
being Italian is not a friend. I cook with the meatball. Hey Miko, happy New Year's Eve. I cook with the pizza. They said being a yokai is not a friend. I eat as a human. Yes, it is just me in my own my own persona. I cook the spaghetti. Your, your skill set is broken. The skill is broken. Is that giving you the money? Wow. It belongs to the house now. Outside of his family? I don't know. It's broken. I'm sorry. I don't know how it works. I don't know why everything on Twitch is... Gonna crap. It's not working. That's it. I'm jumping. I am jumping. I don't know about the other stuff. Where's my hug? Where's that hug emo? There it is. I'm gonna steal the color. Mm -hmm. Maybe. But is it actually giving you the money? Ish money. I can't I can't wait to to use that thing from the public domain. I can't wait to like sell merch. I can't wait to to make Etsy items. I can't wait. It never pays you. Just I, I'm just taking it as a donation. I'm sorry.
Emo? Why is he emo? What makes him emo? Okay, I have a question. Does anyone play Genshin Impact? I'd do anything! <laughs> That's my favorite song from them. I played it when it was new. Hail to the no! I feel like it's kind of going away. Got worried. You, you thought it was the other video. I know what you're talking about. Wink wink. I know the one. <laughs> I know. They're playing Honkai Star Rail. I'm not familiar with any of them. Yes, not that one, not that one. <laughs> not that one. Yeah, she turns into a dog. What the dog do? Now this this one's more uh family friendly. Family friendly. I'm a raccoon, Morty. Morty. My lane. You don't know you could change it? Yes, it's up to you. Your destiny is in your hands. So be that raccoon. But only if you want to. How would you talk about Rick and Morty or talk about Five Nights at Freddy? She'd say he turned himself into a pickle. It's the funniest shit I've ever seen. Destroyer of worlds and tomato. Destroyer of tomato. Yeah, finish it, yes. Yes, always hiccuping. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you. 
Do do. Because you have so little faith. Oh goodness. Truly, I tell you, if you have faith as small as so many hiccups, and it hasn't even been a year. There. There's still no Christmas garb. I have to take down my Christmas stuff too. Louise. Yeah, the redeems aren't working for some reason, I apologize. I guess because Christmas is over, we can't have Spike Cranberry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sorry, I guess, yeah, it was Christmas only. Merry Christmas. Why are you crying? Because it's a crisis. At least it's a merry one. I 
Javi, how are you? Happy New Year's Eve. It is her, the she. Preparing or whatever it is, I hope it goes well. Yes, Maduka, she is new. <laughs> Here's her. Does she have a little hat? Hi, Kappa. Happy New Year's Eve. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm so friendly. Hi, Pun. How are you? Happy New Year's Eve. How's it going? Nice to see you. Welcome in, everybody. It's she. Thank you, Kappa. I am ready to go to a party later. Yes. Yes, I'm I got a sparkly belt on. But yeah, are you guys doing anything to celebrate? Yeah, I've just been taking it easy and trying to figure some things out for myself, you know. It's been a crazy year, honestly, and like I just posted, I think it was yesterday, I did 17 cosplays this year, which is quite a lot, so I think I need to just Take a little bit of a break. I also drew a lot. I feel like I did the entire fun catalog for next year, so I think that's pretty, pretty crazy. At least in my opinion. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I. I have done a lot, I think, so it's been a little overwhelming. You guys are going to a friend's place. Nice. You're going to see the TV countdown. Hope you enjoy Easy anime. <laughs> Both the wood. Go and watch Shibi. I hope it's fun. This is silly. <laughs> Set off my work. Well, stay inside. <laughs> this is silly the way it is. This. I might change it later, but this, it was fun. Yeah. Yes, I love this one. 
Yes, I hope 2024 will be better for a lot of people. And I, I do something about what I'm gonna name this. Oh yeah, 2021. I'm ready for 2021. <laughs> I, just, I added it. But I might have to change it because it, it has something weird going on with it. Oh yeah, 20, 2013. I can't wait to enter high school. You're saving up for stuff in the summer. I hope it, I hope it goes to the spring. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> I added the emote, so hopefully it does not get uh, removed. It's not gonna get removed. Happy 1984. Y2K, yes. There she is. There she is. Silly. But yeah. Uh that was that was fun. Draw her. I'm not sure what else I should do. Yeah, I might I might try a different way to animate it later because the the easy animate thing is kinda silly. Yeah, there she is. New emote. I am thinking of a couple other ones, but I think they will be harder to make because I wanna like draw them out as opposed to just doing this. Yeah, thank you, Cop. I appreciate it. I appreciate uh, the, the thought behind it, too. I used to have that pack of cards, I think. <laughs> I used to have it. Um, I don't know what happened to it. I know it is no longer with me, but now I have it again. So, <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, and the, the drawing. It was really cute. I put it with my Christmas cards. I have a whole basket full of Christmas cards. We saw it at a con. That's funny though, because I think when I, I got them originally, I got them at Hot Topic. But they don't they don't really have Madoka stuff at Hot Topic anymore. Oh wait, I'm lying. They had t-shirts last year. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I really appreciate that. I, I love them. Uh, they are in my, my desk. I clean out my desk, and then I put them in my desk. But I, I do have a lot of Christmas cards. Um, all the way back, I started collecting them in 2020 from my friends. Oh, my phone's ringing off the setup. But, um, or call them back. But yeah, I, um, I started collecting Christmas cards in 2020 when, you know, people were isolated and like everybody was sending each other stuff. So I kept them. And I, you know, I just have them since that year. And whenever somebody has gifted me a card or drawing or something, I put it in my basket. And it makes me happy. I'm gonna look through them before I take the heart with the, the Christmas hat. But yeah, I'm gonna have to look through them before I, I pack up my winter and holiday stuff. But anyway, I will be right back. I'm gonna see who called me and I will return. Um, I'm gonna decide what to do next. But yeah, uh, I, I shall return.
Dang it. I didn't realize it was it was muted on my microphone and not my thing. But um I was gonna say you're you're a hoarder. That I, sometimes I, I worry about having too much stuff. But yeah, sorry. Sorry for the microphone being muted. I forgot that this itself uh, has a mute thing. But can my caption show up when when I just muted? Okay then. But yeah, um, my holiday was good. Uh, I I had my car break down. It's still pretty bad. I have a Honda, a Honda Civic, but and no, it was an easy fix. But yeah, I. I have some some fancy stuff in it. Your mom's car. I drive a mom car, I guess. But yeah, I I have I have that car, and yeah, um, it was easy to fix. Otherwise, like it was it was okay for Christmas. Hi, Rumpel. How are you? Portable ish. Yeah, you can- you can only have a couple badges. But yeah, I- I hope you guys had an okay holiday, but if you didn't- If you didn't celebrate, I hope it was a good week for you anyway. Any plans for 2024? Yeah, I do have a lot that I want to do. It's more personal stuff, I guess, but... I do need to move. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I've moved too many times in the past year. It's been stressful. But I'm gonna do a lot. I feel like a lot of the stuff that I planned for next year is already finished. So I won't let you turn it off. I think you have to do that in the settings. So like it would turn it off for every channel that you're in. So if you have it in any other channels, it would turn it off in that one too. Um, but yeah, you have to you have to look that up and find it in your Twitch settings. I don't know if you're on your phone or your PC, but you probably have to do it on your PC. You would get the Honda because it has an H on it. Do you want mine? Do you want my car? Do you want to trade? Mine does have an H on it. It would, it would suit you better. Do you use the switch on their phone and chat? I would sometimes. Sometimes it was like all I could use, but yeah. It's not good. The delay is really bad. But yeah. Never had something like that happen on Christmas Eve. Yeah, Henry, we could we could trade, you know. We can trade. So get my car. We have to trade. It's quiet. Not any any further away than I was. do your hobbies more than study. How's your one, two, three, one, two, three? It is okay. Also the music might be loud. You had the no audio badge. I don't even know like what is the point of that? Like why would you watch somebody stream without listening to them? 
feel like that would be very hard. You want to meet your friends? I hope you can. You want to buy a deck of Fuma? Well, it's your money, I guess. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yes, it's it's Alice's there. For the pool streamers. True. You just want to watch. You don't want to hear them. Oh, I see. Well, sometimes I just say I'm lurking. I'm lurking. 12, 31, 23. Well, I guess for some countries it doesn't work because they have a different... a different, uh, date set up. It's nice seeing them before getting sent off. I hope it's a good time for you. But... Let's rip. From twenty forty nine. Do we all die? We're not coming. Dang it. Um, I'm not sure what else to do though. I I just had this planned and I finished it, so I guess we can we can just talk. We're old. That's fine, I guess. What would Oku want for dinner? Some seed. She's a bird. She's a bird. I'm gonna. ニンニク、ビレナスコ。え、オタク君口臭い。オタク君臭い。え、クソくないよ。ただでさえ臭いのにニンニクまつわって最低。え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え。え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、
Thank you. I'm glad that I got to show you guys. But yeah. I... I'm gonna hang out for a little while longer. But I don't have anything else to do. So I'm just gonna... But... Yeah, it was really warm on Christmas. I don't know about for you guys or where you live. It was really too warm. I don't like when it's warm on Christmas. I mean, I don't like the cold very much, but it, it is Christmas. So, yeah, I, I prefer... Oh my god, what? I don't know what's going on with the freaking Thrones thing. I'm just turning it off right now. Um, yeah, it was warm. It ended up... It wasn't snowing. It was raining. Um, it was very misty. And, yeah, I didn't, I didn't like that. I did not like that. Also, I hope my eyes aren't red because I was trying to change my contact. But... The Pop-Tart posted himself during a football game in Orlando. No, I didn't, I didn't see the Pop-Tart. You're just painting a prop. What are you painting? Yeah, it was pretty warm. Oh, you want to stream again? I hope it goes well, Angus. Are you going to draw on stream? But no, I, I didn't see that. I... I did not see the pop trick. Uh, I... 93 Fahrenheit. That's pretty high. I... I hope you don't melt away. You're doing a baton. I hope it goes well. Hi, show! I forgot. It's only one o'clock for some people right now. <laughs> Your sleep was bad, so you caught up on it now. Game development. That's fun. I remember when I was involved in some video games. It's a fun thing to be involved in. I haven't done it for a bit though. But it was fun when I tried. I did a lot of art for some stuff. Oh yeah, Henry. That was that was fun. I liked all the characters. The game development system. Yeah. That was where I got my start with that stuff. But yeah, if you guys like to make video games, I would I would recommend joining the Toho one. January 5th is coming up. It's Rainbow Omura. 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 But, it's good to hear that you guys are all okay. You were shy. Well, it's a fun thing to do. Like you can meet a lot of people from streaming, so snowboarding hurts, but it's fun. It's, it's the type of thing that some people like. Pain, fun for them. <laughs> Don't think they would want to take a chance on you. I'm sure it could be different now. Maybe you could try drawing. Use a development program or just do external art. Yeah, I just made the art in other programs and they put it into the game. I'm not super familiar with like game maker programs or coding or anything like that. So yeah, it was pretty straightforward. I kind of did a lot when I did it because a lot of people dropped out. And like, I think what I did was good, but they had some problems getting the game together, so... Uh... You know, it, it happens, but... I... I still enjoyed it. And it was fun. Like, I was pretty proud of what I did. Every breath you take hurts, but it's worth it. As long as you enjoy yourself. You wanna do some stuff? You should try. Get to do things like that. Thank you. Glad you guys like the stuff. I'm actually gonna be selling two prints from when I worked on the 
the games because I made like what are they called? Like CGs, like cut cutscene images. Because it was sort of like a um like a, a dating sim or like you know like a story type thing. It starts on Friday. Nice. Hope you have fun with that. We have a visual novel. The the name escaped me for a second. It was fun though. I did writing and I made some drawings and sprites and things like that. But yeah, the the drawings if you guys have seen it of Sunai and Aya and Raymo. That was from a game and yeah, I made them into print. I do have them quite often in that server. So, yeah, I feel like you guys could have fun with it. Yes. Yes, she will be on a print. And she'll be beautiful. I... I haven't made a lot of prints. But... I think I have... Six of them? Trying for... Um, Rumo, I, I like Rumo. Also, is Michael. She's she's behind me. Let me see. Right there, in the reindeer. She's there. Michael. Michael. But yeah, I don't have very many anymore. They're they're fun though, I guess. I dress them up. And they're they're fashionable. Especially for Christmas. You wanna freely spend your points? Well I guess I will try to stream a bit <laughs> more soon. Ah. ah nothing's working. Where's ah? I'm sorry about that. I don't I don't know why some of their games aren't working. I will have to look into it. See where oh, which points ah. I don't know it works when I do it also the other thing I use is ah. uh, cloud wait no not cloud but uh, sound alert I don't know if that's weird right now Post 2023, it was pretty hectic. A lot of stuff happened. Can't really say for sure whether it was good or bad. Like, I think it was just a lot of good and bad. So I can't really say if it was one way or the other. It was still interesting, though. Like, I think this year might be sort of like a stepping stone to, like, have a good year next year. Yes, I did do a lot of cosplays. I kind of think I went overboard. I think I went overboard. You want peace in 2024? Yeah. Yeah, I get that. A lot of stuff. It, it gets scary sometimes. I... I feel like... You know, some people get bored with life, but sometimes it's better have a boring life than a crazy one because you know that means that nothing bad is happening uh yeah you like my cosplays thank you i appreciate it i guess the goal i have is like to do more with my art i'm hoping i could get more support with my art because like that's the only way i could do it so often it's kind of getting hard, so I might have to do like other stuff on the side. But you want to go push it? Awesome. You want to be more gay? Yeah. But yes, I I will be selling at the con. That'll be something fun. I'll go on an airplane for the first time in like thirteen years or something crazy, and then. I'm gonna 
in California. I've never been to the West Coast, so that's gonna be interesting. I... Y'all are being gay, they're, they're turning the frogs gay. You guys drank the frog water. But it will hopefully be interesting. I know I'm not really going to California to like sightsee or like go on a vacation or anything. Like it's gonna be more like work. But I think it'll be rewarding at the very least. And I'll see some people that I wanna meet. You know, even if even if it's expensive, like and it might be a one time opportunity. I will have to see, but it was, I think it'll still be an interesting and unique opportunity. Um, yeah, it'll be good. A lot of people live uh, west, and you know I wouldn't really have the opportunity to see them otherwise. So it'll be good. I'm, you know, I'm thinking about a lot going forward in the future. There's a lot to consider and. I I think I'll just be good to do things. Hi Kangor, how are you? Thank you so much and happy new year. How are you doing? I I saw your YouTube reel. I'm glad you had a good year. And yeah. Nice to see you. I have yet to visit the US. Nope. You guys can visit. Go to the places you really want to go. You didn't know I had a YouTube video and channel. Yeah, I just posted one today. I mostly post my VODs there, so... Do you have some cons? Hell yeah. The only thing about the United States is I feel like there's so many conventions. Like, some people complain that live in other countries. They're like, we don't have any! <laughs> I think the US is kind of spoiled in that regard. Thank you. I think I'm subscribed to yours, Kangar, but I'm I'm gonna check. Double check. And I saw your video. Funky. The funky jump scare. I think I added that one. There was there was some five nights at Freddy's stuff, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh the only thing is after the con I will have stuff for sale online, so if you missed anything there, or like if you couldn't come, they will be available. It's pricey. Yeah, comic conventions even here are pretty expensive. Like the one in LA and New York Comic Con, they're all, I don't even know how expensive they are, but like because of the size and the location and everything there, they're pretty crazy. They're, they're exhausting too. I don't know if it's just because I'm older now. Because I, I went for such a long time. But I am pretty exhausted when I go. But I, I think going forward, like I'm probably gonna try to sell stuff at conventions. Yes, the doo 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 jump scare was on there when I died because you guys were <laughs> were spamming. That was that made the cut and yeah, I was dressed as emo yomu. That was funny. Super exhausting, yeah. Yeah, definitely. And people aren't clean or healthy. They bring their illness to the to the event, so everybody takes that home, and then you're you're already run down from going non-stop and then you get the flu or whatever so uh <laughs> yeah that that's kind of annoying as well i i have never gone to a convention well I, like it's just on sundays usually but like i don't i don't go to conventions outside of cosplay you're glad to if you 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 committed murder okay you you killed me you're proud to have killed me that's not good that's not nice. Are oh, you gonna be Riggle? Nice. I hope it hope it works out. Um, yeah. Probably going forward, I might focus on selling because yeah, like the events are getting very expensive, and I think I would still be satisfied meeting people and 
yeah, just meet people that way because you can you can meet a lot of artists by selling things and talking to people who come up to your booth. So I'm considering that. Oh yeah, the 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 titties in the scooping room. And I I got scooped. That was my wish. Before I died. Regina, thank you for 20 months. That's amazing. 20 months, almost two years. Upgrade. Yeah. I'm I'm grateful for you guys. Kinda weird. Like I don't know how long a streaming career is. Like I know this isn't like an actual job or anything, but like I don't know what people consider a long time for streaming. For me it's been almost two years. Titties yeah. in the scooping room, yeah. It was just her boobs. They removed her head. Only titties. Oh, I didn't realize you did here too. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um Yes. Get the LFG of <laughs> The LFG Thank you very much for doing that. But yeah, I don't know how long people stream and then it's like, yeah, which is weird. I think it's two years. Some people get very successful in a short amount of time. I guess I get um, like self conscious in that regard. I think everybody does though. I think, I don't know, VTubers tend to do better, so I'm not really a VTuber. I guess it's not surprising. But it is nice to see the growth in the past year, like despite all the roadblocks. I feel like I lost a lot of time due to my health last year, but still a lot has happened. Like I appreciate the support. There are a lot of people here like that just came in like midway through the year that have been a big part of the community and like also in Discord and the events and stuff. So I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to have met new people this year and like made new friendships. Um, you know, like there are 200 people on the Discord server now. Um, I know it's just like a little streaming server, but like, I still think that's a lot, and, like, there's a lot of people who engage. So. Yes, friends. You met a lot of new people? Even if I wasn't there? Well, I'm, I'm grateful for that. I, I will be there next time. I'm sure there will be a lot of new people at the convention as well. 2024. No. Who's engaged? I don't think anyone's engaged, but if they are, congratulations. It's good to not be successful because you lose enjoyment of a small community. Visual streaming. Yeah, I guess that's true. Like, if you get partner, then you're sort of forced to stream more. Um, also, a lot of people I know that do streaming, like, they are in different circumstances, I guess. So, I don't know. I guess it's just perspective. Thank you, Kappa. I'm glad to know you. I'm glad that I could help you. Because I know as an artist, it's hard and like joining a community. And I'm grateful for you guys. No, not the Lunarians. It's anti Lunarian time. I'm going to have to like really push. For the anti lunarian You're engaged, Henry, but not this year. That was a while ago. Right? Oh, Ruth. <laughs> wow, that, that is an emoji. That is definitely a Twitch emote. That's funny. I don't even feel like I'm that big, you know. I appreciate it though, but it's weird. Like, 
on Twitter I grew a lot this year. I don't know if that's because of like memes and stuff, but I just saw people adding like the most ridiculous emotes for the animated slots because they didn't know what to put, but that one's pretty funny. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate when people commission me. Um, because I've been trying to be more sufficient, like self-sufficient, like the stuff that I do, um, especially creatively. Like, I don't mind making stuff for people. I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, don't monetize your hobbies. I don't know. I, I still enjoy drawing for other people and stuff, like even if it's not my own idea and doing things creatively. If it's a dragon, more Yachi or Mei Ling. Yachi could be a turtle. She, she has multiple animals. So we could give Mei Ling the dragon. For memes and stuff. Yeah, probably. Sometimes it's sad on social media. Like, you could spend a year on, like, a painting or something and get, like, two likes. But then, like, if you post a stupid meme, then you get, like, a million new followers. But I guess that's the way of the internet. Thank you. Yeah, that means a lot to me. I appreciate people's support and like that I can share things with people. Yeah. Bowser. Yeah, she's a Koopa. A long gay Bowser. You guys both said it. Yeah, that's true. I guess you have to like post the the stuff that will gain traction and then you put it right after. Omega, thank you very much. Omega 19 heart for the 19 16 heart month. Quarter, Omega 19 How are you doing? Heart. Happy New Year's Eve. I hope you're having a good one. The doorbell rang and you heard a noise. Oh no, it's the ghost. The ghost of Christmas past. The master of Christmas. Yes, I saw that. That was that was very funny. But like then again, it's it's pretty unique. You know? You got a package? On New Year's Eve? Probably like alcohol or something. You taking a nap? I hope it's a good rest. But get up before midnight so you can go woohoo for two seconds and then you can fall back asleep. <laughs> you could go back to sleep. It's one of the things you got for your friend on Amazon. It's weird to me that Amazon still delivers on Sundays, but I guess like it is Amazon and they don't they don't believe in days off. <laughs> you wish it was booze? Maybe, maybe it's uh, a mystery gift. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's something like I got something from Amazon today. I'm like, oh, it's Sunday and it's also New Year's Eve. So they uh, they. Do not care. Oh yeah, penguin. Of course, we gotta spread the penguins. Yeah, I I don't know if you guys would like it if I did more stuff just like as myself. I this is weird to say. Like I know I am a class player and I'm an artist, and a lot of my work has been like centered around Toho and Madoka, but I feel like I've almost like focused on that stuff too much to the point where I haven't been able to like express myself like through clothing at least like that I haven't had a chance to like really get dressed up and like have a style for myself that I really like because I focus so much on like you know making my class plays of wigs and stuff so yeah I don't I don't know if that would be cool because lately I've just been I've been cleaning out stuff that I've had and like buying some new clothes for myself and like sort of getting help from people who know better about like, you know, what looks nice on people and things like that. So, I mean, it might be a thing to go with in the coming year. You got stuff for your friend. But, yeah, I, I don't know how people would react to that like I would appreciate it if people enjoyed that like I can't I can't force people to like 
something, and I know it'd be sort of like a weird change, maybe. Um, but at the very least, I would hope that like I have, a, I have an established like personality or something that like people still like see me outside of just being a cosplayer. Because I know that's the case for some people that they're just like they are what they do, and like people don't really care about them outside of their work. Oh. Horse mask. Okay, I'll get one. Of <laughs> I'll get one of those. Um, yeah. I. I like. I appreciate people still like me for me. Like I. I think that's why I have. Um, like I've shared my name online because I don't want to just be. You know the name I have chosen. To use online like i'm still a person i don't know social media is kind of weird in the way that it kind of it makes people forget that everybody online is a human being and i don't know i think that's the issue like sometimes with streamers and like people who are like internet personalities like like people sort of they just see them as, like, I don't know, like, they're not a person, it's just, like, a the same thing as, like, a meme or, like, a video game character or something, that they just see it and, like, that's what they enjoy, but they don't want to think about, like, what, what is going on behind the scenes. Um, yeah. I appreciate that. I I don't know. I've been thinking about a lot. Like I want to switch things up a little. Um, I I think I've had some trouble with keeping up with streaming because a lot of the time I feel like it's a lot of the same, and I struggle with that. Like I kind of need some, you know, some dynamic things going on in my life. I don't I don't do well with monotony or anything. It's sad, but, uh, it was weird. I've been thinking about a lot of stuff, like, especially towards the things, like, I want to do in my life. And there was this guy on YouTube, and it was really weird, but, like, I went to his, his page because somebody on Facebook posted it, and then in the comments were like, oh, check out this guy's YouTube channel. And then when I went to his channel, like, the pinned video was saying that he was quitting YouTube and like I didn't know who this guy was like I I didn't know his content like it was the first time I've ever seen it in my life and I'm just like well why is this guy quitting YouTube it's like why should I care anyway like I don't I don't know this guy but I was so curious so I watched the video and yeah he was just basically saying that he felt too like enmeshed with YouTube and the, you know, the whole whirlwind of social media and, like, just keeping up with social media and, like, trying to stay relevant and stuff like that. And he said it was just really exhausting and he felt like people only saw him for his internet persona and, like, he felt like he could not present as himself or anything like that. And I think that's really sad and it's probably something that a lot of people deal with um you know they sort of get lost and another thing he said was that like he had a hard time doing anything outside of it like he wasn't able to meet people in real life or anything like that because he was so invested in trying to stay relevant on youtube so i i thought that was important like I feel like that's a big struggle for a lot of people I don't know I think I think it's sad like I wish people were granted more like breaks and more wiggle room when it comes to that stuff but it is hard when you're online because it's like you have to go with what's what's relevant or what's popular if you want to keep people engaged and I think that's sad sometimes, because you can't really pursue what you want. 
Um, but I'm glad that, like, I guess there is, like, a kind of sense of community here, and it's not, like, just a massive thing where there are just, like, the viewers and the streamer. Because I think that's weird sometimes. Like, there's no interaction or anything. I don't, I don't really like that. Uh, I would feel weird if that were the case. I'd feel like I was just, like, on display for people, like a zoo animal or something. I don't know. The, the thought of that is really weird. So, like, yeah, I'm glad we can talk to people and it's more... More like we're just we're chilling as friends and chatting about our lives and stuff like that. Um, yeah, yeah. I guess that's just something I've been thinking about because the the lines get blurry. They do. You wish you can learn to be less bothered by stuff. Well, it's a hard thing to work on for sure. I would say, like, because I used to be really bothered by what people said. Um, like, sometimes it's not a reflection of who you are. Sometimes people are rude. It's more of a reflection of who they are. They decide to be mean. I feel like I'm gonna hiccup. Excuse me, <laughs> but I don't know. I I've tried not to care about what other people say. Like sometimes I will sit with something for a second if someone says something sort of just like random and rude, especially online. You get like the weirdest comment. I'm just like, why did you think or say that? But. If it's not somebody that's your friend or somebody that you value, I wouldn't think about it too much. Like, life's, life's short and you just gotta do what you feel like. There's always gonna be a jerk <laughs> and you just, I don't know. People, people who are successful and like, their people have a lot of stuff, like they still have critics. Everybody does. I feel like it's something that you can't avoid. You too, fine, thank you very much. Um, you're the only Toho chemistry teacher. But, I mean, that's pretty specific. But yeah, you guys are sweet. I, um, I've been, I've been, yeah, wondering about a lot of stuff. I'm glad to be here. Sometimes I feel isolated being online too much, though. We're cleaning. Yeah, we. it's good to clean before New Year's. I have a, a clean home for the New Year. Hey, Veritas, how are you? Happy New Year. Yes, life is short. We are short. Yeah. You feel like you mess up a lot? I would just, something that's helped me is like, I've watched videos on, you know, how to feel better about things, how to, how to like take more control of like how you feel and like, not giving so much power to what other people say. It be isolating. It definitely, it definitely is. A lot of people I know that are streamers, like, some of the people I've seen that do it, like, for, like, being a partner where they're doing it the same amount of time or more as a full-time job, it doesn't seem like they can do a whole lot besides streaming. Like, a lot of the time it seems like they get a lot of stuff delivered. But I don't know... I don't know if I would ever, like, have a life like that. That seems kind of isolating. I am somebody, I feel like, despite the stuff that I like, I know a lot of people are more introverted and like they like to do stuff at home. 
like video games and stuff for example i i'm still the type of person that i i go out a lot and i do a lot of things and like meet a lot of people and like go to big events and i know a lot of people um who like streaming and stuff like aren't that type of people they're more introverted but yeah i think i'm more of a, a people person so um yeah it's just hard because i do i do like having community here but like i also like to have community in person so it's like it's kind of hard to have a balance sometimes i don't know i feel i feel like i want too much out of life sometimes um you're more of a people person than you used to be yeah, i think some people grow into it like when people are younger they they would rather be alone or like just have a small group of friends that they rely on or like they would rather you know meet people through you know online communities or like through gaming and stuff i used to be that way but i i have grown more to also like um meeting people in real life as well and yeah i guess it depends there's nowhere to go around you to meet people that's hard when you're in like a smaller city introverted i mean hey it's like different different lifestyles for different people um i mean for me i i feel like i missed out a lot in like college for example i never lived at college um a lot of people my age like they move cities or something you know for college like even if they didn't move cities they they still moved and they did not live away from their parents um so yeah i didn't have that experience of like meeting people on my own and things like that so i feel like now i'm sort of more um like i really want to do that now i feel like i missed out a lot on it on it also with covid like i feel like that just erased like three years of my life and it's annoying but yeah balance <laughs> you think i'm introverted i think it depends where i am i i could be pretty crazy i don't really show it during stream i think it's because like i'm not in the environment to act crazy like if i'm in a place with a lot of people i could be more outgoing and there are a lot of people here but it's like i can't see you guys thank you for lurking Good luck with your laundry. You guys feel like loners? Well, the thing is, I don't know like if you guys like being more like solitary or if you would rather be more outgoing. I guess the, the good thing is like even if it's hard, like you could always change it in the future. Like even if it's hard. Like, you know, there's always chances to meet new people. I mean, yeah, if that's your... If that's your personality type or your... The way you want to live, then... That's good. But... Yeah, I've been... I've been thinking about it a lot. Like, I still do want to stream. I don't know if I should stream as much as I currently do. Or if I... Should... I don't know. Mix it up a little. Although I did, like dressing like this for the stream i think it made me feel a little bit better um i'll probably do cosplay stuff still in the future but <laughs> you feel like constantly any place you could hold a conversation that makes sense yeah when i when i was younger i sort of felt the same way um a lot of my hobbies were Similar to yours. I feel like it comes a lot with getting older, you know, working, meeting new people. You know, you can you can always expand your interests, your knowledge, the things that you can talk about. I feel like even now, like I'm just starting to do stuff and I'm I'm in my mid twenties. So, 
you can you can always have the chance to to do something different. You could find new things to do. I always look up stuff online. Like how can I how can I meet people who like this thing? And then I, I get the information and then I try it out. We have the internet. We have we have a lot of information at our fingers. Yeah, I don't know. I think, I think I am good at making friends. People think I'm quiet though. Maybe that's why people think I'm more introverted. I guess it depends. Sometimes like if I'm in a, in, an environment like where I don't know as many people, uh, I could be a little confused. I'm quiet, yes. I don't mean to, I just don't wanna make my voice scratchy or like ruin my my throat or something by by screaming or being loud you're starting new hobbies yeah i've been i've been seeing a lot of stuff i know a lot of people see you know young successful people and it's kind of scary and upsetting like when you when you reach that age or you're past that age and you're like well dang i'm not as successful as this early 20s person i also started seeing a lot of people that are successful in their 30s and 40s and stuff so i guess it kind of put it in perspective that you can be successful later in your life a lot of people think that your life ends when you're 30 years old <laughs> You have other non-nerdy interests, but you can't find a lot of people that like it. Well, it that yeah, I guess that's kind of hard. You kind of have to do some digging. I'm gonna blow shit up in an hour. I, I hope you mean the the toilet. <laughs> you have a lot of obligations. Yeah. Scream ASMR stream. Someone told me I was too crazy for ASMR. Like, that's the thing. When I interact with people in person, like, I could be a little crazy. So, I don't know if I have, like, a, a different way of going about things when I'm streaming. It's funny to think about. Snowboarding. Well, maybe you could travel to a place during the winter. I think I could do ASMR. I mean, I I know a few channels that do them that like sometimes I have stuff running in the back background while I'm drawing or something if they have like the rain sounds and stuff like that. I mean, I mean, I know I couldn't do like the. You you guys know the the type of ASMR, <laughs> the the specific type that a lot of people watch, but uh, yeah. Maybe just. No, I wouldn't. Uh, they when people lick the microphones, I I, <laughs> I don't know about that, but just talking maybe. Uh, yeah. They have crazy ASMR. I remember somebody did one where they were like crinkling stuff into the microphone and like screaming, and it was popular because it was not the norm. Bye, Flash. Well, I'm happy New Year. I hope you, I hope you have a good one. Nice to see you. Oh yeah, I saw the Toho ones. That's pretty interesting and unique. I'm glad you guys like my voice. I never, I never enjoyed my voice or hearing my voice. Uh, there's a lot to consider for the future. Yeah, because. I'm not the biggest fan of playing video games, like I do on occasion, but I'm not the type of person who spends a lot of time with them. Like there are people that'll, you know, 100% every single game, I 
I can't do, I can't do that, at least not now. I, I probably could have when I was younger, but I guess there is more to stream on Twitch than just video games. I like Pop-Tarts. I can't eat Pop-Tarts because I have an allergy, but I did like strawberry and I like the, the chocolate flavor one. Or like ice cream sundae flavor. <laughs> um, I'm glad you guys like it. Yeah, I, w I will read the manual. The decoration. Well, good to know. But I eat them and spit them out. So that reminds me. So there was this girl, and she had this thing with her organs. Like, I don't know if she had her intestines removed or something like that, but she had some condition where she couldn't eat. And she did that. She she chewed on the food and she spit it into the bag. And she said, you know, I can't swallow the food because I can't digest it, but like I still want to taste the food. Um, I don't think that would be safe for me because um, I have celiac disease, which is um, your body cannot digest gluten properly because um, the lining of the intestines are not formed correctly. Um, and they said that, they said underneath your pinky finger, that amount of flour is enough to do damage to your intestines. So, you know, like, if it was in my teeth and stuff, I don't know if that's safe. Because that, like, even that small amount can have, um, lasting effects. Um, so I'm, I'm talking about, I have... I have celiac disease, so I can't eat wheat. Um, and yeah, somebody asked if I like Pop Tarts, and I said I can't eat them anymore. Uh, somebody asked if I could chew on them and then uh, spit it out <laughs> so I don't swallow it. I said I don't think that would be safe. But um, yeah, take the gluten out the bread. Uh, luckily for me, uh, Gluten-free was a big fad a few years ago, and it kind of stuck, so there are a lot of options for somebody like me. They're not always the best, but um, I could at least have stuff sometimes like Oreos, or they have a gluten-free version of them now. They are... they're fine. But yeah, no, I, I wouldn't do that. It's, um... It's, it's a very... Like, it's, it's not something that's worth the risk. I went all through college, like, without having a diagnosis. So, like, I was eating the food and making myself sick. Like, I don't know how I did that. Um, because the times, like, after the fact when I would eat something by accident, I would know that I ate it due to how I felt. And it's, it's very debilitating, unfortunately. Uh, there's, like long lasting effects like it lasts a week almost of just like extreme exhaustion and pain but yeah if, if you guys if you guys can eat wheat i guess just be be grateful when you eat the wheat because it's it's not always easy but um you know i i can live with it like sometimes i get sad about the fact that i can't eat it but like i could still find alternatives, but yeah. The, the booze. Luckily, I never drank beer, so I don't miss it. <laughs> Kogara, thank you for the resub. Happy New Year's Eve. Blood for the skull god. Yeah. Skulls for the blood. Do you think you're a lactose intolerant? Thank you for the blood. Um, you You think you're lactose intolerant? They said, like, 80% of the world, I mean, that's probably not the correct percentage, but they said, like, most people are lactose intolerant, because, like, we're not, we're not supposed to be eating or drinking that, you know? <laughs> we're not supposed to be drinking another animal's milk, but we, we do it anyway. Um, and I guess to think about it, like, a lot of cuisine around the world doesn't even use milk. It's mostly, like, Western countries. The cheese, yes. Like in Asian food, they, there's not dairy. So, 
Just something to think about. Yeah, we're. That's why most people can't have it. <laughs> you feel tired a lot. Check your your thyroid. I don't know if you had your thyroid checked. That's something they check for me a lot. Yes, I do like rice. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's funny to think of us. It's like, oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna drink some cows. Kitty milk. Don't know who who tried that, but they they did do that. But <laughs> yeah. Did I have gluten-free Christmas cookies? I did actually. There's this bakery near where I live, and they have stuff available, and they were they were pretty good. So I got them, and I decorated some. There are specialty bakeries and stuff like that. I think it's more prevalent that people are gluten intolerant, or that they have celiac disease, or something similar. And I think it's probably because of chemicals and stuff, and in our food, like when the the produce is being grown, but what can you do? Oh, they, they like Kenny. They're like, oh, mama. Yeah, luckily there's almond flour, and the best one I've had, I think it was made of cassava or tapioca. I forget which one. It's good. We love her. She's pretty cute. Alright. Um, let me see. Oh. Uh, did it, did it. No one is really. That's not really surprising. But I don't think I read somebody random. I'm glad you guys came though. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, even though not a whole lot was going on. And also that I am just me today. Um, I really appreciate it because I've been thinking about that a lot and I was like, oh maybe they won't like me anymore if I don't always do my class play stuff. So it means a lot to me and I am I'm grateful and yeah since it's the end of the year I, I really appreciate everything that everybody's done um, this year despite everything it's been a really turbulent and crazy year and yeah thank you guys for coming here on the very last day of the year um, hopefully we can do some more stuff soon I hope you all had a good December, and if you guys are celebrating in any way, I hope you enjoy yourselves, and I I'll see you next year. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Have a good one. Good night. Good morning, whatever it is. Bye, everybody. See you later.